Welcome to another episode of Pour Over Monday, where we like to pour over Monday with some pour over coffee. Monday is usually the hardest day of the week because it's the beginning of the work week. If this is your first time watching this, this is my pour over coffee show where I like to try different combinations of coffee to water ratios, grams and coffee, and different pour over techniques. So we're going to make some pour over coffee. You can learn how to make pour over coffee here. I'm not an expert, but I've been doing it for a long time. And we're also going to evaluate coffee taste together. Again, if this is your first time watching this, you wonder why I look like this? This is a pour over coffee show for regular people who live regular lives that live in regular homes. This is not for people who live in coffee shops where their wooden countertops cost more than my car. Let's get started. What are we making today? I got Bardo coffee. Bardo, not Bardot. Bardo. Ethiopia. I don't know how to say the second one. Burger chef. Burger chef. Burger chef. I don't know how to say it. Ethiopia Yurga Chefe Shafi five is the origin of the coffee. It's a light to medium roast with tasty notes of citrus and blackberry. Now I'm gonna follow Bardot's recommendation of coffee to water ratio and grams of coffee. Remember, we're gonna try different combinations, but I got talked to one of the Bardot owners and this is what he recommended. So I believe they know their coffee best, so I'm gonna follow the recommendation today. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get our gear, my cup. Some of y'all need to relax about your coffee, about what you think about coffee and how people make it. Okay, we need a scale. Here's my scoop for the coffee beans. Let's do this. Today, according to Bardot's recommendation, we're gonna do 32 grams of coffee. That's what they recommend. 32. Ooh, can you guys see that? Now sometimes I do this just to make sure I really did get an accurate count. I'm gonna take away some beans and then put it, put it right back in just to make sure that my scale is not acting a little crazy. 32, that's Bardo's recommendation. We're gonna use that. Now again, for those of you watching the first time, I said this before, but I wanna say it again. Grind is very, very important. So you gotta experiment with grind. There are some standards. You don't want to go too fine because then your pour over coffee is going to clog because the coffee grounds are way, way, way too thin and small. So it's not going to be the flow through. However, if it's too coarse, then the water pours through much too fast and you're not going to get a good taste of coffee either. I am going to do it right about here. Okay, I'm at the beginning. I'm at the kind of the last part of my coarse setting before I get to medium. So I'm gonna put it right there. There's that dot, that's what that means. Let's grind. Oh look, my daughter was making tea. See what kind of tea she made today. Purple tea. I think he even burnt the tea leaves. Eh, it's okay. Let's get some water in here. Okay. Let's put in my water. Let's turn this up. Okay, so I'm gonna heat that to 199. Remember, you can heat up your water temperature anywhere from 195 to 205. I like to do 199 because after it gets to 199, it usually gets up to around 203 after I let it sit for about 30 seconds. That's me, explore different temperatures. Probably do that on the show too. All right, water's done. Gotta turn everything off. Last time my daughter was really upset, I left the stove on. Let's make some pour over coffee. Let's get our filter out. Remember, you want to take it right here on the seam and fold it. It doesn't matter which way you fold it, but you want to fold it right there on that seam. So now it becomes a cone. Now remember, what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the filter. We're just going to wash out this filter and rinse it. Let all that water go through. I'm going to adjust my cone here a little bit. That's good. And then remember, for those of you who haven't seen this show before, you want to heat up your mug. This is a, a technique that really separates the master pour over people from the amateurs. So really heat up that mug there. 
and put everything on and zero it out. Recommendation here, 32 grams of coffee, specific origin, with a 1 to 12 coffee ratio, with the 1 to 12. So you can flatten that out here a little bit. Now the guy that I was talking to said 1 to 12, maybe 1 to 12.5. We're going to do 1 to 12 coffee to water ratio. Here we go. Let's start off right here in the center. Then you want to work your way out. Try to get all the coffee in. A little bit off. I'm not perfect. Now remember, for those of you who's watching the first time, you want to wait about 30 to 45 seconds between your first and second pass of water. Right now, gas is being released from the coffee grounds. Also, water is getting into the coffee grounds. That was about 30 seconds, so here's my second pass. Now remember, we're gonna do 60 gram passes here. There's my second pass right there. And the goal here is you want to watch how fast the water is going through. And so because I did a little bit more of a coarser grind, water is kind of going through our coffee at a little bit of a faster rate than what I'm normal, what I'm used to. And the reason why you want to watch how fast the water is going through is because you want to have water flowing, flowing through the coffee grounds at a consistent rate. That's a uh, where the real technique in science comes. You really want the water to be flowing at a consistent rate. A little bit short there. And so that's why grind is important. You want to remember the type of grind that you do and then remember how fast the water is going through the coffee. If the water is going too fast, you want to do a little bit more of, of a medium grind. If it's going too slow, then you want to make it a little bit more of a coarse setting. So I'm doing a 1 to 12 coffee to water ratio at 32 grams of coffee, which is going to get me to about 384. So we're going to 384, that's our goal. Now, because 384 is not an exact multiple of 60, starting from 300, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the very edge as if this is my last pass here. I'm gonna stop it a little bit shy, 378. What I like to do is go to the edge of the dripper for my last pass and leave it a couple grams short so that I could do one more quick pass of water on the edges without going over. Oh, I went a little bit over here. Let's see how this tastes. All right, Ethiopia, Yurga Chef, or Chefe, Bardo Coffee. Let's try this out. Definitely taste the citrus. I don't really taste that blackberry. Here's a tip for all those flavor notes and tasting notes in coffee. I think it's very subjective. So the person writing those things, I don't know if everyone's gonna taste those notes. I do taste the citrus in here though. The body of the coffee seems to be a little bit more light to me. I like a little bit more full body coffee. The finish also, I can't say if it's weak or strong because that citrus taste is really carrying the finish right now. And that's what I really taste the most. But the coffee that I like has a strong finish. Again, it's hard to say whether this finish is strong or not because I just I just taste that citrus. So maybe it is a strong finish. But this is Bardo Coffee. I think Bardo Coffee started in South Korea, but don't worry, they do have stores here. The one that's closest to me, I'm in Southern California, is in Tustin, California. So there's a Bardo Coffee shop in Tustin, California. That's where I got those beans from. Check them out. This was Ethiopia. They have other origins there. Hey, what are you making and what are you drinking today? Let me know. Answer that question in the comments below. And let me know what kind of coffee you want to see me do here on the Pour Over Show. What kind of Pour Over Coffee should I be making next? Let me know the brand even the origin. I would love to try to get a bag of those beans as long as it's not too expensive and let's learn how to do pour over coffee together. Hey, thanks for watching Pour Over Monday where we try to pour over Monday with pour over coffee. Enjoy your coffee. Oh, it's a mess. It is tomatoes and broccoli, onion. My daughter doesn't really like to eat all her food. Corn, pickle, Syrup. Sweet. Egg.